So today I'm gonna teach you how to make a, a 3D cat, if you like cats. So I got my paper, pen, scissors, and glue. It doesn't have to be pink glue, that's the only glue I have. So first, you are gonna cut out a square. It shouldn't, it doesn't have to be too big. It actually should be more of a rectangle. Kind of like that. And then you see this square. You are going to fold one side in, just like that. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And then it should look kind of like that. That way it will be able to stand up. And then, see, um, this looks a bit too long, so you're just gonna kind of cut it like that. And remember, if I'm going too fast, you're gonna wait just pause the video. So, yeah, just like that. And then you're gonna put this down. And then you can also have another body. So you basically have two bodies since you, like, you cut that in half. And then now you have this paper. And then you can draw a cat face any way you want. So I'm just going to draw my cat face and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done drawing it. So you get the head in, one ear, the other ear, down, and then this is my head shape. Yours doesn't have to be like that. But I got my little cat head shape. And then you can make a beautiful face. Eyelashes, no eyelashes, however you want. This one is not gonna have eyelashes, the one that I'm making. But I'm going to make sure that people will know that it is a cat, not a dog. If you always want to, you can use the same steps and make it a dog. So right here, we got little cat. And then we're just going to carefully cut out the cat. But you got to be careful because sometimes when I try making a dog of this once, it got prepped. Oh, wait. Before you cut it, I already made a, a cut line. You're just going to make a kind of like a neck right there. Sort of like a line and another line. And then you can cut out that too. And I'll show you why you need that. And then don't cut off the, the little, the, the neck lines. But they're actually not supposed, they're actually not supposed to be necks. But just make sure it's nice and sturdy. And if you make a mistake, always start this video over and fix it. So you're just gonna really carefully cut it out. But you gotta make sure. So I just always do my cats and dogs like this. I just do that and then it, look, it didn't look good yet. But then all this around it, I just took it out and all this around it, I'll just Simply cut off, and that just makes it a bit easier for me. I don't know about you, it just does for me. So I just, so all you do is just simply cut out the cat. Okay. So here I got my little cat face. And then the little flap that is right here, basically, this is what you're going to do. You're going to grab it and bend the flap halfway. I'm just going to bend the flap. So I'll show you how you... I'll see the back of the cat's head. So you're going to take that little bit and bend it. The reason why you need to do this is for when you put it on the body, you, you, you put some glue on the there, and then, yeah, you do that. But my head is a bit small, and this body is big. So, if that happens, you're just going to cut your body in half, and then do the flaps again. And then my body turned out, kind of, when I cut it like that, it turned out like this, still too big. 
cut it about here. And then I got my body. And then you always just make sure that your cat, look, the body and the cat's head, when you bend it, can be put together nicely. You just need to make sure of that. And then you grab, you, you have the cat's head and you grab some glue. And then right at the little flap that you bend it, you'll take the bit that you bend it and put it gently on there. And make sure that it is nicely on there. This glue is not coming out. Okay, you've got a bit of glue there. And then you're going to take that bit and smush it to the body. And then your cat's head will be like it's just looking down like that. It's, it's like right now it looks like a sad cat. And then you're just going to bend the head back up. And then you got your cat's head and the feet together. And the little body. So, yes, now you got the cat. But what you're missing is the tail. So, for the tail, you don't you will need the glue later, so keep that aside with you. You're going to get some more your more handy dandy paper and um you are going to take that and just cut it into any tail shape you want your animal to be. Or should I say your cat to be. Okay. Like, that's my tail. It doesn't have to look like that. And then you are just going to fold it perfectly like that. And then you're going to put some glue and then you're going to yeah, so I'm gonna grab my I'm gonna use pink glue. When I put this on, it looks pink, so. I'm just gonna put that. And just get that. And then you can, there's a bit of glue. Make sure my fold is fine. And then underneath the cat, wherever you want it, you're just gonna squish the glue underneath it. So underneath, you can just see the little strips of where the cat's head was, where the tail was. And then after you put the tail on, hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then, yeah, just keep it there. And then you can bend it up a bit like that and then ta-da you got your little 3d cat and then you i don't know you can make things for your cat you can name your little cat and that's it remember to subscribe to subscribe hope you enjoyed it bye